Hi, I'm Joe with Peak Performance, here to tell you about backup camera systems from Peak. This Peak family of wireless backup camera systems lets you see what you couldn't see before. With these units, apart from the size of the monitor, the camera, transmitter, and wiring are the same, so installation is the same for all versions. The backup camera lets me see what's behind the vehicle as close as one foot away. There's no way I'll see that bucket from the driver's seat without it. The peak backup cameras are essential for safety, but they can also help you parallel park or line up your trailer hitch. The backup cameras are not a replacement for your own eyes. Always check behind your vehicle before backing up. Also, read the instructions that come with your backup camera system and consult with your vehicle owner's manual for any precautions. First, we're going to attach the monitor with this suction cup mount. Push the suction cup against the windshield, then press the locking lever up to secure it. Snap the monitor onto the end of the arm, adjust it for the best viewing angle, and tighten the screws to lock it into position. Run the power cable from the monitor to the accessory outlet. Be sure it won't interfere with the operation of the vehicle. Now, we're going to mount the camera right on the rear license plate. So first, remove the plate, position the camera, and adjust it for the correct viewing angle. Tighten the bolts. Next, run the camera wires through the back of the vehicle. On many vehicles, there will already be an opening, or you can use the pre-existing hole where the wires for the license plate light go through. Next, we're going to connect the camera wiring. So for safety's sake, disconnect the negative cable on the vehicle's battery. The reverse light is going to power the camera. The camera will turn on when you put the vehicle into reverse. Okay, follow the instructions. Attach the camera wires to the reverse light wires with the included clamps. Next, run the camera wires from the tail light to the water resistant transmitter. Mount it where it won't get submerged, jostled, or accidentally knocked off. Check all the connections, reattach the negative battery cable, and test the system. That was easy. And look, it only took a few minutes. Now you can see what you absolutely couldn't see before. I'm Joe with Peak Performance. Thanks for watching.